everyone, my name is Julie Schillebier and I am a registered acupuncturist in Vancouver, Canada. So today we are going to learn some of my favorite acupressure points for stress and PMS relief. I just recently did a workshop on this at my community gym and it was so well received by all the women there, so I thought I would also share it with you. If you are wanting to jump right into the exercises, please feel free to go to them on the chapters you'll see on the screen. But first, we are going to go through an introduction of what stress is in Chinese medical theory, as well as some of my favorite tools that you can use for acupressure at home anytime you need. So in Chinese medical theory, energy stagnation is what we call stress. We call it qi stagnation. If you imagine all of the energy highways, the meridians that flow from the hands, the head, to the feet, along all of these rivers are acupuncture or acupressure points. And if you imagine those whirlpools of energy, they can get stuck. So when we learn the correct acupressure points to remove stress from the body, what they do is allow for that flow of energy to move freely again out the channels. If we don't have any way of releasing the stress from the energy highways, then it can lead to illness. So these are some fantastic points that we're going to learn to really help prevent and stop the severity of illness within your body as you age. When we are choosing acupressure points, since the energy highways go from the hands to the head to the feet, you can imagine that if you have a headache, we may actually use points along those energy highways, we call them distally, from where the pain actually is. So of course the most effective way to work to move the stagnation out the energy highways is with acupuncture. But when you are coming in to see your acupuncturist, this is a way that will help prevent the buildup to be quite severe. Acupressure is easy to learn and it's free. So it's a wonderful tool to have in your home care toolkit that I recommend. So if possible, let's say you're at work and you're feeling a headache come on, it is wonderful to take a few minutes, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, even have on some really relaxing music. And then when you are massaging the acupressure point, you want to use firm pressure and massage the point for a few minutes to really continuously activate the flow of energy once again through the energy highways. So when a patient comes in to see me for acupuncture or tuning forks, I will sometimes reinforce the treatments with modalities of acupressure. So one of my favorite ways to activate the channels and reinforce the treatment is by using Pyonex intradermal needles. So these little sample kits were supplied from Opus Supplies and really what I recommend, you can see there's many different colors and they all represent the depth of the actual needle. So I'm going to select one of the smallest that is still, you know, it's tiny but mighty. So what we basically do is just peel back and what you'll see is a little sticker. And with that sticker, we have a little needle on the end. So let's say I have acute neck pain. Uh, one of my favorite points to use is right here. You'll be able to see my acupressure for neck pain video on my channel as well. But I'm just going to place and stick the little acu needle. And this just goes with you the entire day. You can leave them on for a really long time because they're very high quality. So this is one way that I reinforce the treatments. One of the other ways that I reinforce treatments to again continuously activate the channels and really help with the patient's goals is by using magnet therapy. So once again, we have little stickers and then we can either have non-gold plated 
or for some bling, we have gold ones as well. So really the difference is gold, I always like, like to think of as boosting the energy highway, tonifying the channel, whereas the non-gold plated is really for moving, uh, dispersing. So generally, if there is stress, I would use the non-gold plated ones to move through the channels versus if there was fatigue in a patient, we might choose the gold ones. There's also different tools that you can get. Of course, as a facial acupuncturist, one of my favorites is the Gua Sha Stone, and it has different sides that you can use. So you might want to massage, you can see here, into Yin Tong. This is a really calming point, and it feels so cool with the jade as well. So it's really nice and relaxing. And this is a tool that we use, again, for neck pain, if there is any tension, we would scrape down the neck before then potentially needling it or cupping it. Another little trick is you can have a little ball and massage into an acupressure point. And this one here, it's from Spook Company. As many of you know, my favorite home care tip is using a spook mat, which is again an acupressure mat. This is another way to access the energy highways with different texture. And then you can even get fancy and use a beautiful amethyst gem. And you can see the shape of this is really easy for once again, we'll choose Yintong here really easy for massaging with a different type of pressure. And of course then enhanced by the gems properties and with amethyst, this is really a calming stone. And then finally, what I use as a non-needle modality in clinic is tuning forks. And of course this works with vibration that penetrates through every cell in the body and such a wonderful treatment for those of you who are quite scared of needles, even though I know when you come in, you'll really be surprised because they're not painful at all. For a lot of patients, starting with tuning forks is a good way to work up to getting to know your practitioner and then trusting them enough to insert our tiny baby needles that we use that are so powerful, even though they don't hurt. So one of my other recommended acupressure treatments that is very effective is using red light therapy. And this is a safe way to work at home, stimulating the acupressure points. And basically you can see the red light you would just hold on a specific point. And again, for two to five minutes, just allow for the red light to penetrate through the meridian. So we're going to start with a lovely warm up that can also be utilized when you're at work or you know in a position where let's say you're traveling and you feel a bit ungrounded or more up in your head than in your body. Just imagine right at the bottom of the foot poles that ground you to the earth. So if you close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath, and even if you're standing, seated, or even laying down horizontally, imagine those poles locking in and rooting you with the earth. Even if you're up on the top of a building, the penthouse, you can still imagine this. And the more you practice it, the easier you can just very simply get into your body and out of your head. So let's take a few deep breaths and just imagine connecting with the earth. The earth is the planet that is below us. No other planets in our universe are. So connecting with that will really bring us down to earth. Just like if we're walking on grass or walking along the water's edge in the sand. So really rooting and connecting with earth. I recommend doing this at the beginning of every acupressure session and sometimes during acupuncture treatment, I'll recommend it to my patients as well. So next, a little Qigong practice is really warming up the energy, warming the Qi with your hands. And you can do this for as long as you want, but eventually it will get really, really hot which it is now, so I'm going to stop. Now, if you imagine between your hands, try to feel where the heat connects, almost like a ball. Imagine a ball in the center and your hands are holding it. 
just see how big you can make that ball. I can feel it to about here. Once we're done with the acupressure session, I invite you to then try again, and you'll probably notice your chi is greater and it's been built up from the treatment and activating the meridians. You can also do this technique to feel where your energy from your body ends. So for me, a lot of times it's about a foot and a half out from my body. That's where I feel the heat stop. So again, just rubbing your hands, your feet are grounded to the earth, and just feeling where that heat is. And now it's about there. So our first acupressure point is on the large intestine channel and it's just right in between the web of the thumb and the index finger. Now I will say right off the bat that if anyone suspects they're pregnant, any woman suspects they're pregnant, do not use this point. This is one of the points that will help induce labor. So you can see why you do not want to use it when you're pregnant, especially in the first trimester, stay away from that area with massage. So I'm just gonna use my wonderful red light and show you this point here. So you can see that it's in between the thumb and the index finger. We have the web in between those two points. You can see that where the big mound is, the fleshy mound, when you close your hands, that's basically where it is, a little bit closer to the index finger than the thumb. Now this point, we're gonna start massaging, find that tender space, and just breathe. So this is on the large intestine channel, as I mentioned, so it's fantastic for any digestive concerns, uh, constipation, digestion, IBS, um, really good for acid reflux as well. Now, since it's the command point for the face, it's wonderful for jaw pain, any TMJ symptoms, headaches and migraines. It's fantastic for sinus issues, any tooth issues, any tooth pain, it's wonderful for. It's also fantastic for acne. You can use this point. I use it all the time in facial acupuncture and for any skin conditions. It is one of the main points for stress, which again we call chi stagnation. We're going to turn to the other side. It's also fantastic for blood stagnation, which is pain. So massaging here when you have cramps is just so beneficial. Good. Good, so starting with the hand at this point, it's an easy one. It has so many indications and actions, and it's really all about how you combine it with other points to really treat your symptoms. Now, because this is a workshop for stress and PMS, all the points that I'm selecting are going to be really beneficial for these symptoms and everything that it encompasses. So the next point we're going to do is on the inner wrist and we're just going to massage it with the amethyst here. So this point, if you imagine between the fourth and fifth fingers, just right in between there, you run all the way down to the wrist crease. This point we call Shen Men Spirit Gate. So you know individuals who we would call maybe have a Shen-less expression. Uh, their face is very blank versus showing a sparkle in their eyes, a glow to the face. That indicates good Shen in Chinese medicine. 
This point here is fantastic for really activating the brain with focus and memory. It is one of the go-to points for sleep, any insomnia symptoms, anxiety, fear. And with this point, you can really massage it. I like to flap my hand back and forth. You can have some fun with this to massage into the area. And again, just taking deep breaths, finding that point once again, just between the fifth and fourth finger, coming all the way down just to the inner wrist in between the tendons there. Since this point is on the heart channel, it's really good for any physical heart conditions, blood pressure symptoms, irregular heartbeat. It's one of the main points that we would use in practice. It really helps with clear thinking. So if you're going into a test, I remember when I was in Chinese medical school, I would always be massaging this point just so that I would be extra ready to get an A plus on my uh, test. So once we've done massaging this point, we can tap as well into the areas. You can do a little crisscross, tap right into that area. I always like to do about nine times on either side. Then we're going to flap your wrist back and forth on this side. Of course, it's really good for any wrist issues, any carpal tunnel or ulnar nerve issues. This can be really beneficial for as well. I can feel myself starting to get warm just with all of this circul improving circulation and moving the energy through the channels. I'm sure you can feel yourself starting to get a little bit warm as well. And that's what we want because we want to improve the flow of energy and you will feel it even in your first treatment. And that's what we're doing is we're improving the flow of circulation and chi through all the channels. So building that energy is going to really be able to help move that stress out of the body. So next we're going to come up to the head and I invite you to once again rub your hands together, bring all of that good chi that we brought to the hands now up to the face. So this is another Qigong technique. We're going to wash the face and then cup over the ears after we wash the face three times. Cup over the ears, take a deep breath, and then to the eyes as well. And wash the face one more time. Here we go. Just gently washing the face. Good, then we're gonna cup over the ears. Take a deep breath. Cup over the eyes. And wash the face again. So the next point we're going to do is yin tong. And yin tong is known as the third eye chakra. This is a place where we hold frustration and irritability. And over time, those emotions can be etched in the skin and we may see frown lines. So if we see one line, it really has to do with pushing anger down and not really dealing with it on a regular basis. Um, and then if we see two or more lines here, this indicates some stagnation in the gallbladder channel, some heat and dampness in the gallbladder channel, but it isn't as deep as if we would see one line. So how I like to start working here is just taking the index and middle finger and just spreading from the center out to the eyebrows nine times 
you can see when people are stressed, they actually come into this area or into the eyebrow and massage the emotion out. It's something we do just naturally. Good, and then what we're going to do is circle nine times clockwise and then nine times counterclockwise. So this is a point we use, it's a great acute point for insomnia. You can probably feel your sinuses start to open, so it's wonderful for that as well. But we are releasing those stress emotions when we're working here. And another way that I like to activate this area is with the active release technique for the corrugator muscle because we're here right now already we may as well really release the tension from that muscle and help prevent any frown lines so what we're going to do is we're going to come into the medial eyebrow and we're going to frown but we're going to hold our index fingers out so we're not actually letting the muscle do this so you'll see we're gonna hold, even though I'm trying to frown, I'm not letting myself, we're gonna hold that for a few seconds, relax. Again. And one last time. Good. And this is really good for any computer ocular stress syndrome. It's wonderful to do when we are looking at the computer all day, getting any dry eyes symptoms. It's also on the bladder channel, and the bladder channel we call the Tai Yang, the greatest yang, and it has 67 points all along it that run basically from here all the way down the back, back of the leg, and out the fifth toe. So we're really then also activating all of the, those tense places where we hold stress into the neck, shoulders, back, bum as well, because a lot of people have a tight ass and they hold a lot of emotion there as well. So now we're going to move down to the lower legs and I'm going to be putting a couple of photos up for these acupressure points. It will probably be easier for you to find them. And of course, not having anyone to help me video, <laughs> it's difficult. And of course, I will also show you as well. So what we're going to do is just with our hands, we're going to cup them and just pat down the sides of the legs, the outside of the legs. We're going to do this a few times. We're going to cup down the gallbladder channel, one of the main channels that we hold stagnation. And then gallbladder 34, an amazing point, just on the side of the leg here, right here. So you can see from the tibia and then the fibula, which is this bone that runs along the side, the lateral outside, you can feel a little notch as you run your finger, the front edge of that bone to here. So this point, is an amazing point for any digestive issues like acid reflux, nausea, indigestion. It is so effective to help with stress leading to the symptoms of PMS, any pain symptoms it's really beneficial for. It's one that I use for sciatica. You can imagine the sciatic nerve actually runs all the way down the side of the body here. So again, this point, it's closer to the knee on the outside. And if you come from the knee border and run your finger down, it's that first little indent. But coming in the sides of the legs all the way down, we're going to slap and wake up that circulation. This is activating the gallbladder channel which is one of the ones that we activate with the Qigong that I have on my YouTube channel. I will link that below. So once you've done this about nine times, you'll be doing it on both sides, of course, at the same time. Then we're going to come into gallbladder 34. It's on the outside of 
the knee area right below. If you imagine we have our fibula bone right here, it's just right in front. You'll feel a little notch there, not the tibia, not the bone that comes right up the front, but the side. So again, if you have the knee, you run it along and then feeling that little notch right here. So gallbladder 34 is an amazing point for any soft tissue injury and it commands the tendons. So it's really beneficial for how stress affects pain in the body. It's so effective for energy stagnation that leads to any digestive concerns like nausea, indigestion, gallstones, even jaundice. Sciatic pain, and you can imagine the sciatic nerve runs all the way along here. So treating this point, it's extremely beneficial to reduce that. It's also beneficial for any lower back or hip pain, temporal headaches, trap tightness. And then of course, you can imagine the IT, the iliotibial tract that gets tight in everyone. This is a really beneficial point for so once we've massaged the gallbladder channel, we're going to run our hand down the side where we were cupping, just bringing all of that stagnation out the body. So the next point we're going to be working with is liver three, Tai Chong. And just like Hugu large intestine four is between the thumb and the index finger in the web, Liver three is located between the first, the big toe, and then the second toe in the web as well. So liver three is one of the best points for bottled up emotions. So any irritability, frustration, anger, you know, if your partner or loved one is really having a bad day and they're taking it out on you, just offer them a foot massage and really focus on this point to help calm them. So with this point, you can circle one direction again nine times, other direction nine times. You can utilize some of the gua sha tools. You can even use the back of a pen. You can get creative, but massaging with the thumb and circling into this area, it's really easy to do and it's very, very effective for those bottled up emotions. You know, during PMS, when you just are frustrated and shaking your fist at everything, get to this point and you can see why in combination all of these points are so beneficial for PMS. This point moves the energy and blood circulation through the entire body. So once again, any pain symptoms, any head pain, any PMS, it's one of my favorite points for acid reflux or hernias. Lots of digestive symptoms where the liver is overtaking the stomach or the spleen. We see a lot of symptoms in the digestive system. So that's why a lot of people, when they say they're stressed, you can see them reaching for antacids. So once again, doing acupressure under these circumstances can really help prevent the symptoms from getting worse if you start to do this when the symptoms just start coming on. It's also wonderful for any high blood pressure symptoms, any dizziness, red eyes. It's really beneficial to bring down that liver fire. So together, liver three and large intestine four, we call the four gates. And these gates unblock all the stagnation through the entire body. So together, the actions and indications of symptoms is very high and can benefit everyone. However, I will note that once again, it's not safe to do while pregnant. So just please exercise caution if you are using acupressure on a friend to just double check that there's no chance of pregnancy to be on the safe side. So the last point that I have that I want us to do is called the sea of chi and it's just right below the umbilicus, just an inch and a half or a thumb and half a thumb below on the midline. Now this is one of the most beneficial points in the body to build energy, but 
if the energy in the body is stuck, how can we replenish it? How can we build new chi if it's not moving? So together in combination using gallbladder 34 just by the knee that point along with chi high ren 6 is extremely beneficial ren 6 is on the conception vessel so it's also very beneficial for any fertility concerns it's fantastic for any men's sexual health symptoms and really one of the tips that I learned from my mentor is that in Japan they actually use a hair dryer and get into this area a lot of times it's cold so you can actually use a hair dryer every day and just warm it up for a few minutes while you're doing that though I would suggest also getting into the lower back around that same area so coming into the umbilicus my umbilicus is just right here Coming into the umbilicus, my umbilicus is just right here. So once again, we can take about two finger breaths or a thumb and a half right below it and massage in here. You're also going to kind of make little cups with your fingertips and just massage side to side, kind of coming in to that area. Again, taking deep breaths. You can also do some little fists into that area. Coming back to massaging. Good, and to finish, once again, we're going to warm up the hands. Continue to ground from the bottom of the feet to the earth. And now to finish, what I'd love for you to do is just feel the energy. I can actually feel my hands tingle after doing all of these points. And what was interesting is after the workshop I did at my gym, my next uh, cycle, I didn't even know it was coming because I had virtually no <laughs> symptoms. I only knew because of the time of the month, but it was incredible even just really practicing to do the course and then throughout the course, um, I would say I'd done them about four times for a good probably you know half an hour at a time. It was incredible, the benefit, not even from having acupuncture. Uh, but I would encourage you to learn these points and still have treatment because it will be so beneficial on so many levels to help with your symptoms. So now you know if yourself or a loved one or a coworker starts to have a headache, how to help them, starts to have stomach issues, how to help them, and really you'll be the life of the party. <laughs> so. It's very important to have lots of water after doing a treatment like this on yourself and perhaps take a moment to lay down, breathe, and thank yourself for doing one of many future acupressure treatments on yourself. If you have any questions, just leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video.